Today we're going to go over Hallocene's Kickstart My Heart cover by Motley Crue. I co-produced this track with Hallocene and it just got 10 million views, which is insane. But I co-produced it with Brad. And for those of you who don't know, Brad's the guitar player. And he does a lot of the production work on all of their singles, their YouTube covers, etc. Hallocene is an independent band, so they don't have a label label behind them with unlimited money with a ton of producers and songwriters and mixing engineers and mastering engineers they do it all themselves and i've had the pleasure of co-producing about 30 to 35 of their youtube covers so far i have them all in a playlist on my youtube if you'd like to check them out i've known halicine probably for about like over 10 years now we toured together a long time ago um, basically living together on a tour bus for a couple couple months and it was crazy times for sure but it was a lot of fun and it's been fun working with them for a few years now and uh, let's get right to it here's kickstart my heart <laughs> all right sorry to pause it so soon but this part in particular we used a 4x12 EVH half stack with an EVH 100 watt head. It was so loud. It was shaking the windows. It was late at night and there were just neighbors walking outside just going like what is that noise? You just heard super late at night so loud. You just heard this coming from the house. <laughs> just 10 takes of boom. But hey, it's classic rock. You got to blast real amps and it turned out good. This is featuring Daria also. There's Joe killing it. Shout out to Brad and Addy on those vocal stacks. They sound amazing. And for those of you who don't know, hopefully you know Hallocene if you're watching this, but uh, this is Addy. She is the vocalist of Hallocene. And she does all the vocals for the covers she does all the vocal harmonies she creates them she records them with brad uh, when i co-produce tracks with them i just deal on the music side with brad and so addy is an incredible vocalist and i'm um, just so creative so just want to give a quick shout out to addy <laughs> This is Daria. She's from a band called No Apology. They are based in Ukraine. So um, definitely go check out Daria and No Apology. Amazing band. She's an amazing vocalist. I'm a narrow plane over a ladder with a body from outer space. My heart, my heart, they suck my heart. Say I got so trouble in my eyes. And I'm just looking for another gun time. All right, there's actually one other guitar part earlier in there. There's like an earlier guitar solo and that little guitar part there. Um, none of those little lead guitar parts have been in the original song, but we figured, hey, let's just keep adding some extra little guitar leads in there 
It's a classic rock song, Motley Crue, definitely doesn't hurt. All right, any producers out there and guitar players who record themselves on this bridge, um, we use a plugin called Valhalla Vintage Verb. It's a really cool um, reverb plugin. It's super popular. So if you've never heard of Valhalla, um, check them out. Have some amazing plugins. We use um, the reverb on this bridge. When we started this band, all we needed, needed was a laugh. Kids come by. Alright, a quick shout out, especially here. So, for those of you who don't know, Hallocene is from Phoenix, Arizona. Um, they're moving to Nashville soon, but definitely when they film this, they're in Phoenix, Arizona. Daria is in Ukraine. So just some behind the scenes info. To even communicate, getting these harmonies dialed in, getting all their videos set. Like, look at the camera work, the lighting, the backdrop of Hallocene, camera lighting backup or backdrop for Daria's video and how they compiled it all together, synced it up, got all the harmonies dialed in. There's just so much behind the scenes work that people don't normally realize it takes to put on a cover like this. So just kind of wanted to bring that to people's attention. Let's continue on. So that whole outro instrumental is not part of the original track either. Sometimes Motley Crue will do something similar live, but we definitely made this kind of a custom ending. Wanted to end the track all just like balls to the walls, just full force. And I think it made the whole track come together. And kind of a funny story, I met Mick Mars, who's the guitar player for Motley Crue, about 10 years ago at the NAMM show in Anaheim, California. And Mick Marge doesn't make many appearances because he has some health issues and back problems. So there were a ton of people just like they had 10 to 15 things for Mick Marge to sign just to take advantage of him, try and resell his signature. And at the time, I was just an 18 year old guitar playing kid. And 
They had security with them, no pictures, only one thing you can sign. They were pushing people away, no pictures. And I had him sign something and he was so nice. He called me back and he let me take a picture with him. We talked for a little bit. He told security it was cool. And it was, I thought that was such a cool experience of a guy of that caliber. And I was only 18. He was a big part of my guitar playing, like learning and practicing growing up. Just thought it was a really cool thing. So for this cover to be so successful is just, I think, paying a great tribute to McMars and Motley Crue. And I'm glad everyone liked it. Hellasine and Daria, of course, worked their butts off on this. I mean, look at the production, the video collaborating all across the world with Daria. If you have time, I'd appreciate it if you can check out some of the other covers I've done with Hallucine. They're on my YouTube in a playlist I created. And this is kind of my first video like this, so <laughs> sorry if it's a little awkward, but um, I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe and um, comment on the video and check out some of other Hallucine's work. Again, they're an independent band, work their butts off. And I appreciate you staying through the whole video. So thanks again.